Welcome to Comput Guru 254. Today I'll be showing you how to file your returns using the iTax uh, in your browser. So using a laptop, you just log in to your browser and uh, you, look, you search for the iTax and then you log in. It, will, it is going to come up a, a pop-up file so that you can fill it like this. So the right thing and the first thing you should do, let us start right away. You go to your here enter pin stock user id here you will put your kra pin which uh, for this case is a zero one three two two seven two zero two d then you click there then it's going to come here so that you can put your password and then you log in I'm going to put the password that I have generated. If you uh, you don't have that password, you can generate it back through your email. Uh, they will, they, you can come here to forget your password, then they will send it to your email, then you can use it to come back and log in here. Then here you put the arithmetic calculation. Sorry, that was wrong. Let me just do that again. You come here, you put your password again. I'm going to put my password. Then you do the security stamp arithmetic, which is 30 plus 11, which comes to 41. 41, then we click here, login. It's going to open the portal. We come right away to returns, come to ITR, file returns, ITR file returns. Then here you come, you put the first, it's going to be automatic for self. You put the taxpayer pin, then you select the, the day, which is for this case is from 0, 0, 01 2022 to 31st. You click next. It is going to bring up something so you can feel like this. You put here your car. If you have a car, you put yes. If you have, uh, do you have any income from a foreign can country? You fill here everything. For, for my case, it's going to be a no, no, no for everything. Then here the bank details you can just keep for now. Then we're going to come back later and finish it. We're going to prompt it later. Then we come here to section F. You put again your pin. I'm sorry, it should be a capital letter here. A zero one three two two seven two zero two D. Uh, the gross pay here. We're going to get it from this uh, pin you have got here down below. So it is a five eight one eight six four point zero zero. We come to the value of car benefit. You can take it from just here. Yeah, it is a zero point zero zero pension uh, excess of three hundred three hundred thousand. Take that, that that the all of the information is going to appear in this uh, uh, return that's going to appear here at the bottom. Uh, net value the name is here then the tax employment income is going to be this one which is a five eight one six then you click next then here we're going to have the pin of the employee it's automatic then taxable salary we're going to take it from here which is a five uh, five eight one zero we are going to come here to the next chapter which is the amount of tax to be deducted which is here at section b which is 83 159.40 we're going to go to the name of the employer it's going to be automatic for this i'm doing for kdf personnel so tax payment on taxable salary we're just going to take it from here tax payable on taxable salary which is a 58 then we come here everything is checked right amount to be payable we just take the information from this space slip which is here from this uh, boxes dialog boxes here after that sorry this i put uh, the wrong the wrong name tax payable on taxable salary should be from a here so it should be 
Yeah, there we go. Then we click on next. Okay, that's right. We click on next. After you've clicked on next, it's going to section Q, which is a payment registration number. This information mostly it's not uh, available to you, so you can just uh, go to the next and we go to section T. At this point, we only have two points to fill, which is a def de uh, defined passion contribution and this section here of a uh, of a uh, pension relief. So here it's going to be twenty eight. Uh, you're going to take it from 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 the from the pay slip. This is on the pay, on the. It is on the. Taxed income. After that, you finish. You're going. It's you're going. To, it's going to prompt you to go to option A, which was uh, about the the bank details. You're going to come here and you're going to select the bank now. Okay, we come to KCB. The bank is KCB, which is here, Kenya Commercial Bank. Okay, we go to the city, Stock Town, which is going to be Eldor. It's from Eldoret account number. We're going to put the account number there, which is a zero eight two zero 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 one nine three seven seven. Branch name is from Eldoret, so I'm going to just put Eldoret and then the account name. You put the name of the, of the person. If it's a person, you put it there. If it's a company, if it's an institution, you're going to put the name of the, the institution there. Then you finish up, we go to the to, the, to next. After that, we go to the next again, just confirming it that everything is okay. We have filled it in the right way until we finish to section T. Yeah, and at here below at the tax return, it should be at zero zero. And uh, as you can see here at section Q, uh, this information here, it's not really relevant, but you can, if you find the information, you can just put it there, but it won't matter, it won't matter a lot because it's not in the, in the returns. Then at this uh, tax due, it should be at uh, 0, 0 0.00, so submit going to prompt you then you click OK after that you, it's going to print uh, the return file it's going to come like that so just to confirm that uh, I've done the right thing uh, I'm going to click here so that you can read you can see if it, it has really come uh, if you want to participate in the survey you can continue and click on yes here and continue giving your feedback on how on how you have encountered the process. It's not really a long process. It's a very easy one. Okay, let's open here so that we can confirm that we have done the right procedure. Let me first cancel this one. Back. Okay, payment. Then you open this receipt here. It's going to open to download a PDF file here. Then if you open the PDF file, you're going to find this uh, receipt. It is going to confirm that we have done the right procedure and we have filed our return so they're going to send it and then after some few days they'll send an email to confirm that you've done the right procedure okay that's how it's it's done it's so easy to do it and i hope that it has helped you maybe share it to a friend in case of any assistance you can just uh, comment or inbox i'm going to help you out